California, we're an impairment state when it comes to drugs. So if you see a charge of 23152E, it means driving under the influence of drugs. You don't, it doesn't mean driving under the influence of illegal drugs. It doesn't have to be heroin or crack or cocaine. It could be Xanax. It could be Adderall. It could be Vicodin. So what we're seeing now in California is an influx of prosecutions related to drug DUIs, primarily because of marijuana. Marijuana becoming much more prevalent, legal. Um, the legislator is trying to somehow determine whether or not a driver is impaired due to a substance other than alcohol. And the science just isn't there yet, and it's catching up, but there's not enough studies to correlate the amount of a substance in someone's body to driving impairment. So what you see in these DUI drug prosecutions is you see law enforcement doing additional field sobriety tests, more tests on the eyes, different physical tests, mental tests, to see if your mental acuity and your physical acuity is, is impaired. So it's, it's often difficult if they just have the level in your blood, it's oftentimes difficult to correlate that to impairment. So they need the blood alcohol plus these other symptoms or behavior or driving pattern in order to meet their burden of proof. Walnut well, Clarish is one of the few firms in California that has great experience with DUI drugs. DUI alcohol and DUI drugs are not the same. It requires a different level of knowledge and experience. So if you're charged with DUI drugs, make sure that you're finding a firm that does not just handle DUIs in general. Nowadays, DUI drugs is almost its own separate area of the law because of how specific it is. So Wallen and Clarish has the necessary knowledge and experience to handle these type of cases.